834 tomorrow is primary day. PIX11 continues to be your election headquarters, making sure you have all the necessary information you need before you cast your ballots in the primaries, if you haven't already. This morning, we are joined by candidate Maya Wiley, whose campaign has really gained some momentum in the home stretch of the primary race. Good to have you here in studio, in person for our final conversation, Maya. It's great to see you, Dan. Thank you. And your socks. Well, thank you very much. You know the socks <laughs> are my thing. Let's talk about the final day of campaigning, big day. And let's talk yeah. about where you are right now in the polls. Our latest poll has Eric Adams in first place, but you, in second place, Catherine Garcia really neck and neck for second and third. What does that mean for you strategizing today in the final day of campaigning? Well, uh, in addition to trying to save my voice, yes. which probably won't happen, <laughs> uh, it's really just to meet people, uh, meet them where we are. We'll be in Queens, you know, we'll be in Manhattan, we'll be in Brooklyn, uh, making sure I'm able to meet with voters, answer their questions, tell them who I am, what mm -hmm. I stand for, and what I'll do for them as mayor. And let's talk about ranked choice voting and the strategy behind it, right? This weekend, we saw a Yang-Garcia joint event in what looked like an effort to really work the strategy here of ranked choice voting. There was a lot of rumors whether or not you were asked to participate in this venture. Were you asked to be part of this, and did you decline? Uh, my campaign was contacted. Given the opportunity, we declined. And look... Was there a reason why? Yes, there is. Look, at any time you're running for office and asking for the people's trust, you know, it's really important that you make sure you're standing up for your principles because people want to know what they are and you have to show them, I think, every day. Uh, and after the comments that Andrew Yang made at the last debate around mentally ill people who are people, who are residents, who have human rights around how we have to treat them, in my view, they were unfortunate and, mm -hmm. um, and frankly, not uh, statements I wanted to be aligned with, particularly when really addressing mental health and trauma-informed care is a big part of what I'll do as yeah. mayor. And lastly, on the, on the strategy behind ranked choice voting, what is a Maya Wiley strategy then? Because you're not only asking for the number ones, you're asking for the numbers twos and threes to kind of bring you up to the top. Is there a strategy? Well, look, you know, as someone who co-chaired the campaign, <laughs> That for the ballot initiative that gave us ranked choice mm -hmm. voting. Let me just say I'm a huge proponent yeah. of it. People's voice matters. We don't want people to not count because they don't come back for another physical election. Too many people drop off. This is instant runoff. But, you know, really the strategy is, for me has always been to be Maya Wiley, mm -hmm. <laughs> to tell people what I stand for and what I'll do because really the way people rank should be based on who they want, what they want right. done. So let's talk about some of the issues right now. Our latest PIX11 News Nation Emerson College poll has crime as the top issue, and it has been for every single time that we did this poll. You are in favor of defund, removing a billion dollars from the NYPD per year. We're seeing a big problem with gun violence, right? That is no surprise to anybody who's been watching the news and the headlines. On day one, what does a Maya Wiley administration do to tackle guns first and foremost? So first and foremost, it's that we have to get illegal guns off our streets. You know, one of the things that we have to understand about what I'm proposing is growing public safety, actually investing more dollars in public safety. But we should do it with a smart balance. So we need the police department focusing on how those illegal guns are coming into our city in the first place. Remember that we have the strongest gun control laws of any city in the nation. Mm -hmm. The issue is illegal guns, and it's the pipeline in. We need them partnering with the federal government to help identify them, keep them out. But it's also when they're on our streets. Uh, and the reality here is we have been growing the size of the police department to address mental health issues. That's the issue. So focusing them on the job, is, which is why they signed up for the job mm -hmm. in the first place, is what we do day one. Is that not happening already, uh, going after the pipeline, working with the federal agents? Is that not happening? Look, it, it, it is happening. What we, what we want to make sure is that it's happening well, smartly, and that we're deploying our policing resources appropriately, uh, particularly within communities. Understood. Your opponents have gone after you for having uh, your family having hired private security in the neighborhood where you live as you talk about taking police off of street corners and out of patrol cars. If you are mayor and you move to Gracie Mansion, does that security come with you? Do you get rid of the security? Any plans to get rid of it? I think that's, first of all, I have to correct you because this isn't the Maya Wiley private security. There's right, a no, neighbor. it's for the neighborhood. Right, and it's not security in the sense of arms. But let's just be honest about what we're talking about, because what we're talking about is trauma. 
and it is trauma from crime. And we're a city traumatized right now, both by COVID, uh, but also by the literally the humanitarian crisis that is also creating a mental health crisis. It's also part of why we have a gun crisis. And if we talk about the violence interrupters, they're so effective at preventing the gun from being shot. Mm -hmm. You know what they're asking for? They're asking for social workers. They're asking for trauma. Trauma-informed care is not a light, fluffy thing. It's actually demonstrated to bring violence down and send graduation rates up. So if we're really responding to the places where we have the highest rates of gun violence, we're going to listen to the people most successful at preventing them. And in many instances, including in Brownsville, Brooklyn, where they asked the police department, step back, let the community-based organizations work with people to solve their problems. You know what happened? It's been proven to work, okay. and that's the smart balance. We are uh, almost out of time here, but I want to get to housing right now yes. as well, right? Because all of this is kind of connected uh, with, you said you want to prevent evictions and use federal aid to subsidize homeowners and landlords, but there are over 200,000 people who are facing evictions. Do all of those qualify for that? So look, we're, they're the folks who are in of an eviction process. Right now, we have to make sure they're not evicted, right? Uh, there are 40,000 New Yorker current cases, currently eviction cases. We have almost 60,000 homeless people. We can't make it 100,000. Mm -hmm. But we also have to understand that the rent is too high. Uh, so I'm actually the only candidate that has proposed a subsidy, a rent subsidy, not just for those who are going to be evicted, but for those who frankly are falling farther and farther behind or giving up food and meals in order to pay rent. And this subsidy is for anyone, say you're a family of three, mm -hmm. earning $54,000 or less, we will actually subsidize your rent so you're not paying more than 30% of your okay. household income. That is actually a game changer for New Yorkers across this city. I'm out of time here. Uh, lastly, yes or no on schools. We talked about vaccine mandates. You said you're gonna follow the CDC. Masks in September, yes or no? Mask in September if we're told that's what we need to do. Okay. And follow the public health experts. Maya Wiley, thank you for coming in, giving everybody equal time here. We appreciate you being here in person. Hopefully your voice gets better throughout the day. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you. 841, everybody, you can head over to pix11.com slash New York Elections, where you will find our vital voters guide with more information on all the candidates, including Ms. Wiley. We also have an explainer of the new ranked choice voting system, which you can check out before you cast your ballot tomorrow. For primary day and don't forget tune in Sunday mornings for the brand new picks on politics political show yours truly hosting at 7 30 a.m. on Sundays. Vanessa.